Hey friends, welcome back. Now we are going to continue our next day series and we now we all are enough ready to continue with our project, right? So here is our project. We have created this layout, right? So we have different pages, sign in, sign up and uh, profile page. And of course, we are going to have lots of page and this forget this 404. Now what we are going to do, we are going to create, a, we are going to use a database. We are going to use MongoDB, right? So this is my existing database. Just go and create an account uh, in MongoDB, right? After creating an account, use a free tier. Uh, a free tier is available uh, for your use. Here I'm going to create a new collection. So I will simply say uh, create database and I will name it this database like Newsex, uh, Newdex, right? This is my database and that's all uh collection let's create a collection users because we need users also the first collection so here let's close this one here is our news x and this is our collection users that's empty and in the database access let's go over here now let's create a new user so we'll add a new user add a new database user and here i'm gonna say a uh, news x user and uh, here we'll say password say news x password okay let's view it because definitely i will delete this user <laughs> so this is a news x password new news x user and uh, that's all uh, give access like read and write to any database and and that's all oh uh, so let's add the user so our user uh, got created. This is a newsx user, and let's close this, and let's go to our uh, Next.js project. Uh, where is that? So this is our Next.js project, and here we are going to create a file for our uh, local constants, right? Environment variables. So we'll say dot env. Sorry, dot env dot local. This is how we create uh, environment variables uh, within the Next.js project. So you have to write a name dot env dot local and within this you have to you can create uh, environment variables like you usually do so we'll say mongo uh, db underscore user that is going to be like uh, news x hyphen user and I'm sorry news x user and then mongo db underscore password that is going to be news x password and the database mm, mongodb so password password equals to uh sorry not password uh database so we'll say data base data base equals to so database is news right news x so database is news x and let's verify once so this is the news x user and let's go to the databases and browse collection and here we have a news x database so here is our users the database is a new x okay it should be news x so let's delete because news x sorry let's delete first drop And now let's add a database. So here we'll say news news x, and here we'll say collection the first collection users. Okay, now let's see open this uh, news x, and this is the users, right? User collection will be empty, no collection. So news x, and let's verify the things. So that is news x, and everything looks fine to me. So this is our database credential and don't rely on this credential because after this video this credential will be changed and uh, okay so this is our uh, this, now we are going to write our first file to initialize the database so here we're going to say lib folder so that's going to act as a library and inside this we're going to say uh, database connection we'll say db hyphen connect.js database connect.js so basically i'm going to use a library mongoose that is a framework for mongodb right so let's install that so let's open that view and terminal here we'll say npm install you can save 
mongoose. So mongoose is installed now. If you go and check the package.json file, here we have mongoose, right? So mongoose is installed. Let's go to the dbconnect.js file. And here the connection strategy will be a little different than Express, right? In Express, what happens? You're gonna have a server file, uh, server.js or index.server.js or app.js if you're following me. So, and every request will go through that file, right? Every request will first come to that file and then it will navigate to different uh, controllers and uh, everywhere right but in nexus the uh, structure and architecture is different right so here we we don't have any uh, root file we don't have any index.server.js file or server.js file so we cannot say we can create a mongoose connection once and then that's it here what happens every time when we will create an api and we may need uh, database access right we may need to connect with the database and for every request we have to uh, get a connection right and uh, we have to write some strategy so it will not create lots of connection right once we have a connection then we are not going to create a connection understanding my point right for example uh, let's say i need a database connection over here so i will make this uh, i will make a request to this api and then i will connect db here right so connect db here but what happens if i will make to this request uh, request over here and again i need a database over here then again i'll have to make a connection request because architecture is a bit different right so for every api we may have to have a database connection right and if you don't handle it properly then we may end up having lots of mongoose connection so we need to take care of that part so let's go to the db connect and here we'll write a function say sync function and sync function and here we'll say uh, mongoose connection or like uh, like db connect db connect database connect right so this is our sync function oh sorry this is our sync db connect like windows uh, we have a uh, in node environment a global variable or uh, uh, like oh, what i'm going so windows is available in available in client side available in browser Likewise, Windows is available in browser. Same, Windows is available in browser. Like window, we have global variable in node environment. Okay, so we have global variable in node environment, and we can store a uh, mongoose connection within our global variable. Okay, we we'll simply say. Uh, global dot mongoose okay so this is i have i'm creating a variable over here and i will store the connection so the initially it is going to be null and mongoose promise connection uh like let's have a uh, null okay so promise and everything is null so when i will make this db connect request i will verify my connection exists or not so i'll say if uh, connection like uh, global dot mongoose exist and global dot mongoose dot connection if both exist means connection is already available we simply have to return that so we'll say global dot mongoose dot connection else if there is a no connection then we'll create one for us so for that we have to create a connection say const promise it is going to we're going to use a promise and it will say mongoose and let's import that mongoose import mongoose from mongoose okay so mongoose and mongoose so here we, are, here we have mongoose dot uh, connect connect function and it takes a string right a connection string so we need a connection string and for that uh, we uh, we have a process variables right so let's go and use those variables so first let's get the connection string so here we have our users and collection 
Mm, connect okay so here we have some options like uh, connect with uh, mongodb shell uh, and connect your application connect using mongodb compass so we'll choose this option connect your application and this is the connection string and here let's copy this connection string let's uh, we'll say connection string equals to this one okay connection string save this and here we need some few things like here's a username it's a const uh, user equals to process dot env dot uh, what's that Would be user. Let's copy and let's go to the DB cleanup. And here we have right cons user password equals to copy this one process dot env dot password cons database to process dot env dot mongodb database right and now let's remove this and here we are going to say user user then we have password and then we have database somewhere right so here it is my first database okay let's remove this and here we're gonna say uh, database okay so this is our connection string uh let's pass this connection string to this matrix and options uh like so here we're gonna paste that options right so these options are required for the mongodb connections right so use new url parser true unified topology is true and order is true so you need to understand this order index. So if you want to, if you want to have a unique records in your database, for example, users, right? You want to have a unique records for every user. So order index needs to be true. So here is our promise, and then maybe it takes a mongoose, and let's return that mongoose. So here we'll have our promise in the mongoose, right? Now our mongoose is ready. We'll say global dot mongoose equals to uh, connection. That is going to be await and promise resolve that promise and uh, promise we're gonna have promise so this one okay so this is our connection and this is a promise so if we have a connection already then we'll definitely return this one otherwise we will create a new connection and then return return await promise okay so let's save this and also have a log over here so we can see in our terminal console.log uh, new mongoose uh, sorry existing mongoose connection using existing mongoose connection and here we are going to say Console or log reading new mongoose connection. Okay, cool. So if it is a first time, so if it is a first time, then else block will execute and creates a new connection. But if it is a second time, then this block will exe execute. No need to reading and storing the connections okay so let's save this and here's something save this so here's our db connect and we'll connect uh, we'll create a connection let's go to our post create and here we are, we are going to call our database connection we'll say await and db uh, connect oh we have to export that function also 
So here we come and say support sync function db connect. Now let's go and uh, create. Now here say db connect. I'll call this. So this is going to return a promise, right? We'll wait till the time it connects. Wait, and we'll make this function a sync. Sorry, it needs to be here. See, now let's check this thing working or not. So we'll use our postman again to make a request. And here is our post or request, and let's send the request. And something wrong, 500 internal server error. Mongo server error, bad auth authentication failed. So authentication failed, uh, it's because Mongo server, bad auth authentication failed. Authentication failed, why is that? So I have used the right passwords, right? Looks everything fine. Let's try to restart the server. Okay, let's kill this. Start it again. And let's hit the request. Yeah, now it's working fine. Looks like it's working fine. Let's go to the terminal. And here you can see the log creating new Mongoose connections or new Mongoose connection created. And now let's hit the request again. And you see there is no connection using existing Mongoose connection. Working fine, right? So this is how we can use Mongoose or MongoDB database in Next.js, right? Uh, pretty clear, okay? So if you have liked this video, don't forget to share with your friends. Let others know how good this one, okay? So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.